Hi, I'm Scott McTaggart from D'Agostino Electronic Services. Welcome back to Cybersecurity Simplified. This is our third video. We're talking about endpoints and endpoint protection. This sometimes can be hard to get people's attention on, but uh, I'm going to do my best. How about this? There it is. So the average endpoint breach causes about $5 million in total losses to the affected organization. That is after you add up things like how much damage was done to the IT network, the computers, uh, were there secrets that were taken? Was there work that needed to be done to patch things back up, fix it back up? Was it in the newspaper? There are so many different things. Did your insurance premiums go up? There are a lot of different ways in which this causes cost. So. From our perspective, we explain endpoint protection as a means of being more efficient. So being proactive is an easy way to say it. So when you talk about an endpoint protection solution, this in that Fortinet security fabric world will have a name like 40 EDR, 40 XDR. They're popular because what they do is they, they spot the problem early. That is so key and saves so much of those costs that I was talking about a second ago. You don't need as much time and effort to fix what was broken. And then it's scalable. So no matter how many users you have, it's watching your EDR platform. The system is watching the desktops, the laptops, the, the tablets, every single one has its different behaviors being monitored so that if there's a breach, you're detecting it as early as possible. When we talk about a breach, we're saying a device or an application on the network uh, has some risky behavior happening on it. So you have to watch and see how is that malware, how is that attack expanding within the endpoint device. So say it's a laptop, you downloaded a file and now that file is beginning to act strangely in ways that mimic malware. Now we're going to try to shut that down right away. That's what an EDR solution does for you. And again, in that security fabric mentality, rather than the EDR being a separate platform that doesn't communicate, that information is moving across silos, across products to the rest of your network isolating this device very quickly, showing up on a dashboard that you're looking at literally every single day. Um, automatically blocking and neutralizing the threat is the goal. Yes, we still have to take a look at that one laptop that got hit, but luckily it didn't get to maturity to the point where we have 10, 100, 1,000 devices that have been hit. This is how ransomware takes over and shuts down organizations. The next thing we should talk about is policy-based filtering. It's it's not EDR, but it sits next to EDR in this toolbox because now you've got this ability to not just watch what is happening with the downloaded software that those say tablet devices or laptops or servers have pulled from the web. You can even prevent them from getting to a place where that, that malware could have been downloaded in the first place. It is a great tool to have in your toolbox and we'll talk about that in the fourth video.